Alright fellow collectors, this is Defuse Now, and today we're going to take a look at the new 3-0 Heisenberg figure from the best TV show ever made in my opinion, Breaking Bad. Now I added this figure on pre-order directly from 3-0 and it finally showed up this week and I have to say that I'm quite impressed with this figure, especially with the head sculpt. But initially I wasn't that impressed with the body, um, but after playing with it, after posing it for a couple of hours and kind of changed my mind about that and I think that the body is quite good as well but it's not as good as a Hot Toys 2 type body but yeah it serves its purpose and yeah like I said it's, I think it's quite good but the hands I don't like them at all they look very pale in comparison to the head sculpt but yeah I will explain everything in the next couple of minutes so stay tuned Alright, now let's take a closer look of this head sculpt, which is easily the best part of this figure. Now, I think that this head sculpt looks great. The amount of detail that 3A has put into it in terms of paint work and sculpting is excellent. I never thought that 3A would come even close to Hot Toys quality with this head sculpt, but man was I wrong. They really nailed this sculpt. Of course it's not 100% accurate, there's still some things that are off about it and I cannot point out exactly what those things are, but the likeness to Brian Cranston is definitely there and I think that this is the best looking head sculpt that I've ever seen from Breaking Bad. Uh, a production head sculpt, not a custom head sculpt because I've seen the Trevor Grove sculpt which looks even better than this, but yeah, like I said, from all the figures we've seen so far, this one is the best yet. And this is how he looks with his glasses on. I'm not the biggest fan of these glasses, I think the lenses itself are too thick and they enlarge the eyes somewhat. And I also think that the frame is a bit too large, but yeah, I probably will never display them with these glasses on. I will think I'll go for the Heisenberg look with the sunglasses, which I will show you in a minute. Yeah, so this is the look that I prefer. And of course he looks even more badass with his hat on. And one thing I should mention about the head sculpt is the very visible seam line that runs all across the scope from ear to ear. It's a bit of a letdown, but you won't see anything when you look in front of the figure or of course when you put the head on, but yeah, it's a bit too visible for my taste. And on to the outfit. Now overall I think that the outfit looks pretty good, it's nicely tailored, but there are a few things that I should mention. The first thing is his collar. I've read that some people think that his collar sits a little bit too high. I think it looks okay, but you can probably fix this easily by taking the shirt off and tuck it back a little bit further down his pants. And they also gave the figure a fat suit, um, but I don't know exactly why they've done that. Um, Walter White in the series had cancer and he probably wasn't this fat. But when you look at the figure in person, it's not that obvious. I mean, I can live with how the figure looks right now. And I think the fat suit gives the figure a little bit more character. And I will just leave it like this. And here's a closer look of the pants. Now 
I think the worst part about this outfit is the boots. Um, the detail on them is not that great. The paint job is a bit sloppy and I think the boots are way too big for this figure. And here's a close-up of one of the hands. Um, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I don't really like them. I think the sculpting on it is a bit rough and also the paint job is flat and it doesn't really match the color of the head sculpt, but I will show you right now. And here you see what I mean. Um, I don't know exactly if the camera picks this up, but the way that I'm looking at it right now is I see that the hands are a lot lighter than the actual head sculpt. And also the head sculpt has more detail into it, more detail in the sculpting, more detail in paint work. It has more layers as in the hands are just a single flat color they've used. And yeah, I just don't like them. And I'm thinking of uh, replacing not just the hands but the entire body because um, at first I didn't really like the body they've used. But yeah, like I said earlier, uh, the more I played with it, the more I pose it, um, I started to like it more. But it's still not as good as a true type body and I prefer true, true, uh, true type bodies, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm just thinking of replacing the whole body and also the hands with some nicely sculpted and detailed Hot Toys hands. In terms of accessories, you don't get a lot with this figure, but you get two of these extra spare hands, which lack a lot of detail, as I mentioned before. You also get his iconic hat. And this gun. A stack of $100 bills. And last but not least, two pairs of glasses, one pair of sunglasses for his Heisenberg look and one pair of normal glasses for his Walter White look. And in case you were wondering where the next couple of accessories came from that you saw in the first scene of this video, well, they were all custom made. I added them all myself for my display. So they are not included with this figure, so better than mine, guys. So I got this bear. And some items from Los Polios Hermanos. Three of these meth cases. And a couple of barrels. This is the bigger one. And the one on the right, of course, is one of the smaller ones. And I also added this figure stand because the figure itself does not include one. So you have to create your own if you want your figure to stand on one of these. And if you're wondering where I got this decal from, Joe Turner on Facebook is the man to go to if you want one of these. I still have to order this uh, Heisenberg nameplate from him. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to contact him and get one of these decals yourself. And this is how the figure looks in my display cabinet. Alright guys, so there you have it, the 30 Heisenberg figure. I think overall it's a great looking figure. The head sculpt is nearly perfect and if you can live with the imperfections that the rest of the figure has, well then I'd say go for it. If you're a true Breaking Bad fan, just like I am, it's a bit of a cliche to say it, but if you're a true Breaking Bad fan, this figure is a must-have. 
It's the best representation of this character in one six skill you can find on the market today. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. This is Diffuse and L and I'm signing out.